OK, so now it's time to compile our bulletin and uh, we're going to make up a uh, bulletin for the main news and also a bulletin for the summary for the headlines at the bottom of the hour. So then uh, we can do that by clicking on this button here, open the bulletin window and that creates a uh, opens the news bulletin. And we're going to create a new one, create a new bulletin over here. And it's uh, inserted the date and also it's added the time up to the next quarter past. So this actually, uh, we're going to do a bulletin for the 11 o'clock news. So we're just going to call that bulletin title of that. And it's going to be saved into all bulletin categories. We could, if we wanted to, create one that had local bulletins or summaries or top of the hour bulletins anything that we wanted here. And uh, we are just going to start dragging some items from the left hand side here into the bulletin. And so at the moment we're in all story categories. So if we always want to start with a local story, we can just click on local stories here to bring that in. And uh, there's our dear story. So we've added that in. And then if we wanted something from wires, um, so let's add in the, uh, some business news, a couple of business news stories, and then this here, Royal Babies, and then we're okay with all of that. Let's go back to local and we'll finish off with some business news here. So we've got some text stories, we've got some text with audio associated, tells us the audio duration of those clips. And then down here is the estimated length of our bulletin, which is going to be fantastic. So happy with that. And so I can uh, click on here to save the bulletin. That saved it into that all bulletin categories area. And uh, we're OK. Uh, we've got some options here. So that's new. That's opening a previous bulletin. That's saving a copy of the bulletin as a different name. We can print the bulletin out. And then the cog here to display some settings so we can say that it's for a specific time. And we also have the ability to change the uh, the type. And so we can create a dynamic one that will be read from within Myriad News or we can create a template and that will allow us to send it to a station database. If the station, if your station is playing using Myriad Playout and also you can send it to a pad list as well. So uh, at the moment, we're just going with the dynamic version. So we're going to read it from within Myriad News and uh, from our news booth, as it were. So uh, I'm OK with those settings over here. You can uh, select to say read the bulletin live over here, publish the bulletin to a website, we'll, which we'll take a look at in our distribution videos. And then we can also open the bulletin reader. So if we do that, then that shows our full bulletin here. And uh, we will take a look at reading the bulletin a little bit later on in, the, in another video. So for the moment, I shall close that one down. Some other options that you do have uh, within the bulletin viewer and the bulletin maker is the opportunity to go in here and open and uh, we'll open this summary here. You have the ability to make up templates how we want the bulletin outline to be. So I've said here that I want some uh, three text stories, then a piece of audio, then two text stories. And so then you can grab from over here and you can basically overwrite those. And so if we get some text stories here from IRN news, and uh, we're going to go in with that uh, business news again. And then this story here and this one here and the audio is actually going to be a, a little sting in between and to view our audio we can click on carts here and it's actually we're going to go right up to the top and we're just going to stick in this little separator here. and uh, we can say that we want that added to the news database now that's good it's all done we can go back here to view that got our carts, contacts and websites. So contacts, we might have some news contacts in there and uh, our websites allow us to open up the little browser. So we can just go back in here. 
got carts here, the ability to import files in there, but we're just going to click on that. So that's made our summary using a template, and so we can then save a copy of that. And so we could have this as a summary 11.30. And then that's great. That's been saved in there. And then and then up there, we can see our 11.30 summary. So we've got a few options there to play with. So that's our main news story there, news bulletin, with the audio, 2 minutes 49. And then if we open up that one, summary for 11.30, then that's slightly different at 147. So uh, two different options. If we want to uh, navigate a bulletin over here, then we can just uh, double click on it and it will open up the bulletin over in the corner there. If we wanted to make up another template, if we just create a completely blank one here, this is the ability to create the placeholders. So you may have an advert to go in there and then some more. And then we can start dragging our items down into here. Uh, do we have anything in the city? Yes, there it is. We can add in some audio. That's our ad break there. And uh, if we make a big mistake, we can always just remove everything. Remove these items or we can reset them back to normal. We can reset all of the items back to placeholders. And uh, so that just helps to make up and um, make sure that your summaries uh, contain the right number of pieces of audio, the right number of stories, and uh, also the kind of any set items. So it might be a weather credit, things like that, that you can add in there and create as a template.